Well, while we are on the subject of simulation, I'd like to show you some enhancements we've made in SOLIDWORKS 2010 in terms of the simulation user interface. This, the uh, capabilities I'm about to show here apply to any user who has SOLIDWORKS Premium or any module of the SOLIDWORKS simulation products. We've just got a part design here that, uh, that I'm looking at the study manager and I want you to notice in the, new st in the study manager we now have unique names and icons for the various items in the, in the tree. That makes it really easy for me just by identifying the icons just by hovering over an item I can see that that's a foundation bolt, I can see that this is a bearing load. It's really easy to tell what the different items represent. We also support tooltips now so as I pause over a force value it shows me the value of that force and this is bidirectional so if I pause over an item in the graphics area I get the same display. In fact a double click on those force arrows brings me to the edit screen where I can type in new values or change anything about those forces. And We didn't stop there though. When it comes to viewing results here we're displaying uh, a stress plot in uh, Pascals and what's always bugged me is that when I have these large numbers I can never tell where the separator goes. So now we've added a thousand separator which makes it really nice and cleans up those large numbers, makes it easier to read. For those who, uh, if you're working in English units, we've now added a KSI standard, KSI units, which does a good job of cleaning up large English units. Let's look at another example. In this example, I want to show you a, a beam where we've got a whole bunch of bolt connectors in this splice plate. Now, in 2009, we introduced some capabilities where we can do pin and bolt safety checks. And that was really nice, but they didn't take it far enough, in my opinion. Uh, what we needed to do, in, uh, or what we've done in 2010, is given users the ability to make bulk edits to a large number of selections all in one shot. So, for example, I can take all of these bolt connectors, and now when I go in and do an edit, I can edit the properties for all of them all in one shot. In the past, we would have had to edit them one by one, and that's really time-consuming, kind, of uh, kind of a pain in the neck. So now I can make those edits all in one shot, and furthermore, we now support folders in the Study Manager feature tree. So I can add a new folder. Let's just rename it Bolts. And now I can just select all of my bolt connectors with a Shift Select, drag and drop them into that folder, and I've just done a good job of simplifying and organizing my study manager tree. So some really nice improvements in the in the user interface for SOLIDWORKS 2010 simulation.